Mini. Usually the word means smaller, but in the case of the HTC One Mini here, it actually means less, and that ain't all bad. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, I'm gonna show you around the HTC One Mini. So this phone is actually only slightly smaller than the HTC One original, but there are a lot of differences with it. It is definitely mid-tier, mostly with the internal specs. Little bit with the outside too. You can see that there are still aluminum accents and the body looks really beautiful. Looks a lot like the HTC One. Still has a premium feel, um, but it's got plastic accents around the rim so it isn't all metal. It also has a slightly different power button that does not have an IR blaster built in it, so you cannot use this to remotely control your TV. The phone has a 4.7 inch 720p HD screen. Really nice and pretty to look at, very bright. It comes with HTC Sense 5 as the custom interface on top of the Android 4.2.2 operating system. The processor is a little slower, 1.4 gigahertz dual core versus a 1.7 gigahertz quad core on the original one. It's also got 16 gigabytes of storage inside instead of 32, and there's no micro SD card slot. Another thing that's missing, NFC. The cameras are about the same. There's a four megapixel ultra pixel camera on the back with flash. On the front, you've got a slightly smaller 1.6 megapixel front facing camera instead of a two megapixel front facing camera. In the US, the Mini sells exclusively with AT&T for $99. I think it's a really great value for a phone, especially one that looks this beautiful. It's definitely one of my favorites in this price point. So if you're looking for a slightly cheaper alternative to the HTC One, this is definitely your phone. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can read my full review at CNET.com.